cheetah. Now, I feel like I haven't hit my head once today yet. And Dave's been very clever. We've got a microphone, so I don't have to wear a hat in the tent. So there we go. Where is it? There it is. There it Yay. Is. Now, I like being outside, so we're going to be, go outside. So there's a wonderful folklore. I also just want to see if I can see the leopard again. <laughs> I can't. She's gone too far. So there's a wonderful African folklore about how a cheetah got its speed. And the creator, according to the Bushman, oh, I'm listening to the radio. I'm, see, I'm eavesdropping today. And basically, the, the creator organized a race. And the only two animals that took up the race were the cheetah and the topi. And the topi was quite arrogant, being the fastest antelope alive. And the cheetah asked Wild Dog very nicely if it could borrow its, its feet. Now, I don't know quite how this works, but Cheetah managed to borrow Wild Dog's feet uh, because Wild Dog was good at running, but Wild Dog decided didn't want to take part in the race. And off they took. And Topi was burning Cheetah. I mean burning. Uh, it, it, Cheetah was so far behind, but then Topi stood in an artfark or ant bear hole and hurt its leg. And Cheetah stopped to help Topi. And because Cheetah stopped to help Topi, the creator decided that because Cheetah was such a good sport, it would make it the fast, uh, the creator would make the Cheetah the fastest animal and let it keep the feet of Wild Dog. And that's why they have non retractable claws. Of course, this is a good story, and a story it is, but it is folklore. And like most African folklores, there's, there's a good message behind it. Uh, and it's not all about winning. It's not all about winning. I don't understand that. But it is about helping everyone else. Okay, so it seems like Jamie's managed to leapfrog to the front. So 